we have built in, in in the healthcare budget an additional 95 million in, you know sort of to address uh, potential pandemic pressures in in healthcare um, should it be needed but the risk definitely in this budget and for all of us going forward is going to be you know how how high will inflation go due to circumstances both with uh, the pressures and the and the spending through the pandemic, uh, as well as the global issues, um, there is no doubt that the political climate, due to what's happening in Ukraine, is a risk. Um, disruptions to the supply chain, which was already there, is being even more accelerated due to the war. Um, of course, in Saskatchewan, as reliant as we are on agriculture, the weather is always my nail biter. And hopefully we have a much better year than we did last year. So it would be inflation. It would be sort of that uh, uncertainty globally due to what is happening in Europe, uh, supply chain disruptions. And of course, uh, our best Saskatchewan, our most favorite Saskatchewan topic of weather. Hopefully we're facing the end of a pandemic, but we're a long way from the end of its impacts. And now, with Putin's invasion of Ukraine, peace and safety all over the world are under threat. These are serious times. Prices for key Saskatchewan commodities have soared, in part due to these serious times. But that has brought increased revenue to Saskatchewan businesses and to Saskatchewan government coffers. At the same time, it's also driving up costs for ordinary Saskatchewan families. People are paying a, seven, a buck seventy a liter at the pump, paying upwards of eighty bucks to fill their tank, and far, far more to fill a cart with groceries. Housing, utilities, everything is costing more. Scott Moe and the SAS party today are saying their, their budget will put Saskatchewan back on track. But back on track for who? This budget, budget provides zero relief, nothing at all, for the costs that are making it harder for families to make ends meet. Saskatchewan people needed a lifeline, but instead, the SAS party threw them an anchor. This is a government that isn't back on track. It's a government that has lost track of what matters most. What do we get instead of relief for the costs that people are facing? We get price hikes. We get new taxes. 32 increases in fees and taxes. 32. A tax on rider games, on rodeos and rock shows. An increase in property tax. Property tax is up by 2.6% for education. The education budget's only up by 1.3%. Nowhere near what's needed in our classrooms. Back on track. Seriously. This is what the SAS party calls back on track. This is a government that has lost track of what matters most, lost track of the realities that Saskatchewan people are facing today, and lost track of the magnitude of the challenge we face today.